17th chapter, verses 24 through 31. You Amen. got that? Go ahead. Amen. And it reads, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is the Lord of heaven and earth, yes. does not dwell in temples made with hands. Now listen, it said he is the God and the Lord of heaven and earth. Now he don't dwell in temples made with hands. This is what it's saying. Go ahead. Nor is he worshipped with man's hands as though he needed anything. Now, stop right there. You need to understand that he don't need our worship. He's God whether we worship him or not. Go ahead. Since he gives to all life breath in all things. And he has made from the blood every nation of men to dwell in all the face of the earth. Uh -huh. And have determined their appointed times and the boundaries of their dwelling. So that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might work, that they might grow for him and find him, though he is not far from each of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of our own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver stone, something shaped by art in man's devising. Now, now, now listen to what she said again. Because we are God's offspring, there's some things we need to understand. Yeah. Say it again. Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, uh -huh. we ought not to think of the divine nature as like gold or silver or stone or something shaped by art in man's devising. Uh -huh. Truly, these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. There was a time, there was a time that God overlooked ignorance. Yeah. Yeah. But that time is gone. Amen. He's not overlooking it anymore. Amen. Now he's saying you ought to repent. Go ahead. All right. Because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. He has given assurance of, of this to all by raising him from the dead. Now look at what he's saying. He's saying there is a day coming for every single one of us. That God is going to judge yes. by the one who he has ordained. By the one who he has a given assurance of all men. That's Jesus. And by the one who he raised from the dead. Yes. There will be a time when every single one of us yes. will be judged. Amen. In him we live. Amen. In him we move, and in him we have our beings. Are you with me? Next, next text. Yeah, read it out. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. God's going to show us something. Next one. Psalms 34 and 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Now, I'm going to bless the Lord all times. God's going to show me something. In Him I live, I move, and have my being. God's going to show me something, and I'm going to bless Him at all times. I'm mixing this up, baby. I got some for you. I'm going to bless Him at all times. Go ahead. Uh, who was that? Robert? Go ahead. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pray, all of you who are Christians, praise the Lord. All of you who are servants, praise the Lord. Look at what it says. Look at what, old Sister Martin, I got something for you. Watch this. Go ahead. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from today 
and forevermore. Somebody say today. Today. And forevermore. And forevermore. Come on, Elder Harper, bring us home. Watch this. They that make them are like unto them. Uh-huh. So is everyone that trusteth in them. Uh-huh. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord. Yes. He is their help and their shield. Uh-huh. O house of Aaron, yeah. trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. He is their help and the shield. Yeah. You that fear the Lord, all of you that say, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Amen. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us. Uh -huh. He will bless us. Uh -huh. He will bless the house of Israel. He's going to bless the house of prayer.
Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Now watch this. Everything that we need has already been done. Right. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Now listen, Christ has given us an RSVP. Uh -huh. He's invited us to be partakers. Uh -huh. He's invited us to be participators. Uh -huh. He's invited us to be with him in this journey called life. Yes. Are you hearing me? Amen. Now listen, God has made his presence known unto man. And he has manifested himself before men. How many know that because of his character, because of who he is, he deserves a proper response? Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Whenever you're in the presence of God, he deserves a proper RSVP. Whenever you walk into the presence of God, he deserves a proper Church, because I'm getting ready to mess you up. 
three types of time. I'll teach you a little bit. Uh, the first one is called chronos. That's the time that we're given for living on this life. Chronos. Are you hearing? And then the next one is called hora. H-O-R-A. That's the time of the seasons. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A time, winter, summer, spring, and fall. That's horror time. A time. That's the time that he wants to That's the time that he's talking about in Ecclesiastes, where he talks to you about 24 seasons in a man's life. A time to live. Oh,
master, uh, but he don't know uh, that I serve uh, the master. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, when I walked into the house, uh, Spencer began uh, to show his teeth. Uh, he began uh, to run around. Uh, he began to say, look at Daddy. Uh, Daddy's uh, in the Thank <laughs> you. 